I wanted to respond to a question that I received the other day. The person that wrote in asked, why haven't we talked about gabapentin? Gabapentin or Neurontin. Gabapentin being the generic of Neurontin. Gabapentin is a medication that's often used to treat nerve pain. First, what is gabapentin? It's a nerve membrane stabilizing uh, drug. Uh, originally, it's been used as an anti-epileptic. It, it, it's no longer used as a first-line anti-epileptic, but sometimes it is used to treat seizures, seizure disorders uh, in conjunction with other medications. It's also used sometimes to uh, help treat depression. And it's used in, in our space more for pain and specifically for, for nerve pain. It gets used in the orthopedic and musculoskeletal spaces. The way that our, our practice is, is really uh, structured, the way that I tend to think about these things, even when, when I write books or, or, or articles, is about fixing the underlying problem, right? And I'm, I'm sure that's how, how people like to think of it as well, which is someone comes in and they, they have a pinched nerve in their neck or a pinched nerve in their lower back. And uh, the way we like to go about it is to find out where is the, the inflammation, where is the pain coming from, which usually means finding where the inflammation is coming from, and then talking about how can we make the inflammation go away and then talking about once the inflammation is, is away, how do we use exercises and ergonomics and biomechanics to make sure that the inflammation doesn't return? And that's the way that we effectively treat and cure these kinds of issues. So where is the role for something like gabapentin? Well, gabapentin and other pain medications aren't going to cure a problem, right? Gabapentin, if you take it for nerve pain, might help the nerve pain. But when you stop taking the gabapentin, you haven't changed any underlying issue, right? The, the pain is going to come back. Now, that doesn't mean that there's no role for gabapentin. Actually, actually I, I do prescribe gabapentin in, in my practice sometimes, and I have colleagues that prescribe it a lot more and, and, and some less. Sometimes life just isn't as easy as we would like to think it is. And, and sometimes pain is harder to get better. And the treatment course becomes more protracted, right? The exercises take longer. We try injections, maybe they, they don't work. The person's not a surgical candidate or doesn't want surgery. Then what do you do? And I think the, the idea of using gabapentin becomes much more attractive. Basically, people take it from anywhere from 100 milligrams all the way up to 3,200 and more milligrams sometimes. In my practice and my colleagues that I talk to about this, we tend to use anywhere from three to 600 milligrams or less. A good rule of thumb with gabapentin is that you don't want to go up or down on any given day by, by more than 300 milligrams. Because you have to remember, you can use gabapentin to treat epilepsy, to treat seizures. And so it makes me uncomfortable to have someone on a high dosage and then stop it like that. You, you worry about withdrawals, you, you worry about seizures. So you want to always taper if you're on a, a high dose or if you're on even a medium dose, you want to taper and certainly not go down by more than 300 milligrams in any given day. And you want to talk to your doctor about the best way to come off of it.